Thank you, CEO of Chairbugs. Uh, Alfredo Sauce. CEO of Chairbugs. Extra cheese, extra bacon. CEO of Chairbugs. Alfredo Sauce. The large Alfredo Sauce. Extra cheese, extra bacon. CEO of Chairbugs. Molar status. Woo! Alfredo Sauce. CEO of Chairbugs. Molar status. Extra cheese, extra bacon. CEO of Chairbugs. Alfredo Sauce. The large Alfredo Sauce. Extra cheese. Extra bacon. It is what it is. KFC took away the double down. But I digress. Gotta be a freak beat. YouTube. This is CEO Chairbugs and uh, Homeboy Cheddar with another video. What up? So honestly, I'm not really feeling it today. I've been cutting back on my drinking. And honestly, I'm just feeling kind of down. And now someone named Should I Series, he's been calling me out on YouTube. Yeah. And he's saying that we're not good chefs. And he's acting like he's the best bloglum chef there is. Yes. So you want to challenge us to some video? And honestly, we don't even need to do it. We already know we're goth. So. Yeah. Yeah. And honestly, YouTube, it's kind of pathetic that he green screens his whole place. He doesn't even have a kitchen, YouTube. He's you know, probably more pathetic than my drinking. Seriously, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So me and Homeboy Cheddar, we wanted to throw a wrench in his plans. We each got to pick two ingredients. He picked mayo and hot dogs. So we knew that the two ingredients we picked, he wouldn't be able to work with. Which was E&Gs and mustard. Yes! I'll drink to that, you two. Cigarette. Yes, bring it on, should I, series? Uh, yeah. I'm the CEO of Chairbugs. And my restaurant experience is about two years in an Asian fusion restaurant. And I also invented the KFC Double Down. You may know me from such hit singles such as License to Till. From my hit band Suffering from Asperger's. So yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty ready to make some dank food hacked chopped Dollar Tree version YouTube. So YouTube, I'm Homeboy Cheddar from the Seventh Circle of Hell. I'm here to talk about my restaurant experience. I used to work at Burger King for like one year. And what I used to do for experience is like take out the garbage and mop the floors and stuff. But then what I would also do is all like the Whopper patties that would come out of the burner. I would just grab them and disappear into like my lair, which was called Downstairs, and I used to eat Whopper patties, zesty sauce, and croutons. It's actually a true story about how my health took a turn for the worse before wrestling. But the thing to remember is my era of my restaurant experience was during the Mac and Cheetos area era at uh, Burger King. And, uh, I got fired from that job because I was too fucking goth to work there. But, like, I'm, like, all good now and stuff and, like, super successful. So, like, I'm gonna win this competition. Yes. What up, YouTube? Yes. So here we got the ingredients for our food hack. 
We got the mustard, ENGs, and mayonnaise. We drank a lot of the ENGs, you too, but that's what it is. That's what we're cooking. But then hot dogs. Mmm. So we're gonna make a hot dog lasagna. It's gonna be busting YouTube. It's very avant-garde. We also have some beryllium lasagna. We also got some Serengeto cheese. So we're gonna make a cheese sauce to put in between these layers, YouTube. And for a side dish, we're gonna have some nice expired glazed carrots. Yeah. So first things first, YouTube, we're going to make a roux for the cheese sauce. It's very au la grande. My homeboy Cheddar is going to assist with that. He's chowing down some pizza. Uh, we're going to put that on low heat, YouTube. Got this butter melting YouTube. It's almost ready for some flour for the roux. And we're gonna deglaze the roux with ENJ's peach. Oh, yes. Look at a nice roux, YouTube. Yes. So we got the roux. Nice blonde roux, YouTube. Starting to cook. We're going to let this thicken a little bit more. I'm going to deglaze it with a nice Angie's peach brandy. Uh. Yeah. So, we're gonna put some Slap Yo Mama seasoning in, because it's like good stuff. Yes. Yeah. It's a nice Cajun flavor for the hot dog lasagna. So, we're gonna add some ENJs down, deglaze this roux, YouTube. E&J gravy. It's congealing nicely. I'll taste a spoonful of this. <laughs> Tastes like peach collar. Mm. <laughs> That's pretty good. Whoa. So we got the roux. It congealed nicely with the E&Js. We're going to add some milk. We're going to make it a bog of mel sauce. Put about a cup, YouTube. We're gonna add cheese to this later. Yes. <laughs> so now, YouTube, we're gonna put the Serengeto cheese, extra sharp cheddar. Fuck sickos. I hate sickos more than Lavazzi. We're gonna try to open this, YouTube. It might take a while. Oh, yeah. So it's going to slowly add a couple pieces of cheese. Yes, please. I'm going to crank the heat a little more on this, YouTube. Oh, yes. Keep slowly adding cheese slices. Let's make a nice creamy cheddar sauce. <laughs> yes. My sauce. We're gonna let it melt before we add any more YouTube. Well, YouTube, you can see it starting to thicken. So we got four more slices of the sacred cheddar cheese. Oh, yes. 
It's good Sargento. It's Sharon Ghetto Troll. <laughs> We're gonna put some mustard in the cheese, YouTube. Just a little dash. Give a little zing. I also got some mozzarella. I'm gonna put a little handful there. Oh, yes. Just a dash of mozzarella. Give that nice stringy. That's good, YouTube. Look at that cheese sauce. It smells like popcorn. Perfect for any nacho. Perfect consistency. Yes. We're going to put Diablo sauce in it. Yeah. From one of our Taco Bell DoorDash orders, YouTube. Oh, yes. I think that'll even out the flavors a little bit. So, first step, we're going to put some of this cheese as the sauce layer on the bottom of this lasagna. Use a spoon here to assist. That's good cheddar. Let's spread this around evenly. No, this might stick horrendously into. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add a layer of this lasagna noodles, YouTube. Try to see the best way to do this. Think like this. Now these ones you don't have to boil. Which when you're goth you need easier things. And if you're mildly autistic. With severe alcoholism and crippling depression. There's the first layer of YouTube. Now we gotta put some dogs in it. So we're gonna make a homemade gothic ricana YouTube using mayo. This is the last ingredient we've used every ingredient YouTube. A nice healthy dose of mayonnaise. We're gonna add some mozzarella cheese. I'm just gonna give that a little stir with my fingies. This would make fake ricotta YouTube. Pretty much the same thing, same essentially. It's chunky, delicious, cheesy. We're gonna put a layer of this down before the hot dogs, actually. See, same thing, YouTube. Same Grow up. That's what you do in a traditional lasagna. You put blobs of ricotta, YouTube. Mm. That's good for the first layer. Yes. Now we're going to put a layer of hot dogs. You can just leave them whole, Cheddar. Hey, yo! Cheddar's going to put the glizzies in the pan. Gothic glizzies. That one eat half eaten. <laughs> we get a tight layer of hot dogs. We thought about smoking these using mustard as a binder. But for an average gothic family, that's just too much time, you team. Are we almost on hot dogs? God damn it. <laughs> so now we got. We could only get one layer of hot dogs YouTube. It is what it is. Be a nice meaty center. Dump some more cheese sauce. Come more this way, cheddar. Oh, yes. Perfect. Oh, God. You're a scoop full of his cheese out of you, got all carried away with the cheese. Yeah. But it's his I name. can't hold it back. You can't blame the man, it's his name. Once the cheese cheddars, it's cheese. We'll reuse this on the top layer. Here we go, 
though, YouTube. That's enough. We got another layer of lasagna noodles, YouTube. It is lasagna after all. Yes. Yeah, the rest is mayo mixture, YouTube. Evenly, YouTube. Oh, yes. We're gonna put the rest of this cheese on YouTube. Oh, yes. Cheesy, yes, please. Waste not, waste, yes. Spread around this cheese. We got about room for one more layer of lasagna noodles. There. Don't miss any cheese. Make sure you have a thick layer on top so it doesn't cook. <laughs> I'm not worried these uh, noodles will be a little dry, so I'm gonna put a little, put a little Colorado Kool Aid on there, YouTube. He's drinking Colorado Kool Aid. Just enough to wet in the noodles. Add a nice seasoned flavor. I'm going to sprinkle some Tony's seasoning. It's not Tony's, it's Slappy Mama, but same difference. Then for the final, I'm going to put a little bit of mozzarella cheese. More seasoning. Oh, yes. We're going to put the oven on 420, YouTube. Because that's what Dark Lord Cobra always does. We're going to put this puppy in. I'm going to put it on a tray in case it overflows. I'd like to see should I come up with something like this. Oh, yes. But some of my YouTube trolls say I don't clean my house. I'm going to prove them wrong right now. <laughs> I'm going to make some glazed carrots, YouTube. Nice hits. off camera. So to make some glazed carrots YouTube, got some butter, some carrots, I'm gonna get some honey, so it's gonna be mead carrots and E and G's. Yeah. E and G's YouTube. Finish the rest. Gonna reduce the E and G's to a little honey. Dude. There's 
the hot dog lasagna YouTube and the ENJ carrots. We're gonna get these plated up. What do you think, homeboy cheddar? Oh, I think yes. <laughs> oh yeah. Got this basil plant YouTube. And take a couple leaves. For a festive flavor. I'm trying to pick these. Yes. We're having YouTube hot dog lasagna and ENG carrots. We're gonna give this a taste test. Hello, friends. We're gonna be trying this lasagna YouTube. We're gonna apple grip it, because that's the only way to test the lasagna. Oh, <laughs> that's hot. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh -oh. oh, wow. So right off the bat, YouTube, you taste that nice peach flavor. It's a little off-putting at first, but I'm going to try this glizzy. Mm. Very good. <laughs> I got some glazing shaped peach carrots. See that cheesy action, YouTube? You can taste the cheese, the peach. Mm. Mm. Delicious. What's your verdict, Shed? It's pretty good. I taste the cheese. The hot dog, and most importantly, the peach. The peach is a little off putting, <laughs> but it's good. You know, it's, it has that mead taste, you too. Mm, indeed. I've already finished my lasagna, kind of, sort of. But now I've got these cheesy diarrhea carrots to deal with. Kind of glizzy. Mm. Mm. Well, there it is. There we have it, YouTube. Vote for who wins. It's probably going to be us. So, yeah. Yeah. Long live on.